Okay, welcome to another video um, on an AQA physics question, this time on current um, and resistance. Please pause the video and read the question if you haven't already. Okay, so we've been given a circuit diagram. Um, they've given us various values. They have told us that the EMF is negligible, so we don't need to worry about any internal resistance. Not the EMF, sorry, the internal resistance is negligible. Um, and the first question says, show that the total resistance in the circuit is 20 ohms. So, I'm just going to use this page for the working for this. So we've got to show that all of these resistances add up to 20 ohms. What we have got here is a 10 ohm resistance in series with another chunk of resistors, right, which have their own separate um, total value, right? So here we've got 18 and 12 in series. So I could actually redraw the circuit diagram, simplify it to this. 10 in series with a 30 ohm in parallel with a 15 ohm. OK. So that was part one of the calculation. I'm just redrawing it to clarify what I'm doing at each step. So that's just summing those two. Now I can sum the two in series. OK, so summing resistors in series, 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, 1 plus 1 over R2, and this goes on for as many as you've got in series, will be equal to 1 over R total. And um, if I sub the numbers in, R1 would be 30, R2 would be 15. Okay, now I can just use my calculator to sum these and get a decimal answer, and then not, as long as I don't forget to then take the inverse of the decimal answer, I'll get RT. Or I can simply notice that 1 over 30 and 1 over 15, if I make the bottom um, of the fraction the same number by multiplying this whole thing by 2, I could have 1 over 30 plus 2 over 30 equals 1 over RT. So um, this becomes a total of 3 over 30 equals 1 over RT. And you add these two things together. And then inverting both sides of the equation, flipping both sides of the equation, gets me 30 over 3 equals RT over 1. RT divided by 1 is just RT. 30 over 3 is 10. So this chunk here is actually worth 10 ohms. So what we've actually got is a 10 ohm resistor in series with another 10 ohm resistor. Because this whole chunk here can be simplified down to that. So in total, Resistors in series, you simply add them up. 10 ohms plus 10 ohms equals 20 ohms. And that's what the show that asked us to do. So, worth three marks. It's actually relatively straightforward. You practice these 100 times and you'll never make a mistake. So we've shown that on the other page. Next step. Calculate the current supplied by the battery. The potential difference between points A and B. The current in, lamp, in the lamp. All right, so I'll do B part... I calculate the current supplied by the battery. Well, we've got 30 ohms, and all of these resistors could be replaced with just one 20 ohm resistor. So I could simply be, it's simply like being asked this question. You've got a 20 ohm resistor, and you've got a 30 volt cell. What's the current? Well, V equals IR. I equals V over R, so 30 over 20 equals 1.5 amps. Let's not forget the units, 1.5 amps. All right, so that's part I, B, I, I. Next bit, where are we? Calculate the current, well I've done that one. The PD between points A and B. What is the potential difference between points A and B? So if I put a voltmeter here, what reading would I get? Okay. Two ways of doing it. Simplest way, of, well, depends how familiar you are with potential dividers. But since we know that this is 10 ohms and all this adds up to 10 ohms, the um, resistances are equal, so the voltage will be shared equally as well. The 10 ohm resistance is 50% of the total resistance, therefore you will get 50% of the total voltage, so that would be 10 volts. And then all these separate resistances, but since we're taking the voltage across all of them and they add up to 10, again, 10 is 50% of the total resistance of 20, so you'll get 50% of the voltage, so the answer will be 15. But the way the question has led us to think about it, 
is to probably use Ohm's law since we've just worked out I we know the resistance is 10 for this whole chunk so I can just do V equals IR um, I is 1.5 as I've just calculated R is 10 and again we get 15 volts so we've confirmed it two ways we've thought about it in terms of a potential divider we've also thought about it in terms of um, Ohm's law right now let's do part 3 B so I've done that one so now it's the current in the lamp this lamp here okay so we know that you've got a current flowing through here of 1.5 amps okay and that means that you must get a current coming back of 1.5 amps and when the current comes into here so if you think of 1.5 coulombs per second or if you want to have a way of imagining it 1.5 cars per second come down here right some go this way some go this way which side's more cars going to flow down well this side's got the greatest resistance so less cars go down this side and more cars go down this side right so already you know that whatever the value is it's, it's going to be less than half of 1.5 it's going to be less than 0.75 down this um, down here right and the current flow through this and through this is going to be the same because they're in series so I can approach this from Ohm's law again I've just been asked to work out the voltage across a B which means I know the voltage across this entire chunk okay so the voltage across that entire chunk is 15 so hold on, let's just go V equals I R I want I so it's V over R again I know the voltage across AB is 15. I know the total resistance of AB is 30, because 18 plus 12. 15 divided by 30 is the same. Well, I could divide 5, 5. Basically, it's a half, 0.5 amps. Okay. So um, I think the current here is going to be 0.5 amps. Now, I can see this is definitely true, right? Because just like a potential divider you can also have a current divider this branch has a resistance of 30 this branch has a resistance of 15 right so this is two-thirds of the total resistance of the of the parallel circuit so it will get one-third of the current this is one-third one-third of the total resistance of the parallel circuit of the components in the parallel circuit so it will get two thirds of the total current. And if you look, if 1.5 comes in and 0.5 goes this way, you have to have one amp coming this way. Right? So this is two thirds of the total resistance, sorry, two thirds of the total current, one third of the total current. So it's just another way of looking at it to confirm that we're correct. Okay, next bit. C part I. What is the power of the lamp in watts? Okay, so let's have a look. Power. Power is equal to current times voltage I could try and work out the voltage across this 12 ohm resistance by saying that the I could just use the, the concept of a potential divider 12 out of a total resistance of 30 is the percentage of the um, it's the fraction of the um, voltage it's going to get and since the voltage across is 15 it'd be 12 over 18 times um, 15 right to get the voltage so I could approach the problem like that but actually I can simply sub Ohm's law into this. So P equals IV, sub in V equals IR, right, for the V. So I get I squared R, I squared, sorry, I squared R. Then it's going to be 0 0.5 squared times resistance of 12. So it becomes 0 0.5 squared is 0 0.25 times 12 becomes 3 watts. Okay, capital W for watts. Okay. So that's the power dissipated across that. Now it asks me what percentage of power supplied by the battery is dissipated by the lamp. So it's 3 watts out of a total of how much um, uh, power is being supplied by the battery. The battery is 30 volts. The current flowing from it is 1.5 amps. So it's supplying 30 joules for every coulomb and 1.5 joules, sorry, 1.5 coulombs per second leave it. So I can just use P equals IV to calculate that, the total power. So this is C part 2. So um, P equals IV. Current is 1.5. V is 30. 
pump of item 30 is 45 watts. This is the total. Just one second, Adrian. Um, this is what's being lost over the lamp. So three out of 45 is what's delivered. Get this as a percentage. This is a fraction or a decimal. Get this as a percentage multiplied by 100. You get a value on your calculator of 6.66666 recurring. So I'm going to just round that to 6.7%. Okay. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. Comment as well.